Hello everyone! Today we're going to take a quick look at Encanto, directed by Jared Bush and Byron Howard. At some period in Colombian history that the movie never specifies, there was an armed conflict, and Alma Madrigal, voiced by Maria Cecilia Botero, was forced to flee her home with her husband Pedro and their triplet children. Pedro gave his life defending his family, and it seemed like Alma might not be long for this world either, but then a miracle occurred that saved her and her children. Too bad the miracle couldn't have come five minutes earlier, and Pedro might still be alive, but oh well. She was given a magical candle and a secluded refuge from the conflict, the titular Encanto, and a magical sentient house that they affectionately refer to as Casita. Alma's children and grandchildren were all given magical superhuman abilities, except for Mirabelle, who is voiced by Stephanie Beatrice, who for some reason did not get a magical gift. That one mishap aside, everything in the village has been great. Until one day when cracks start to form in the house and the magic starts to fade and it looks like the candle might go out. Mirabelle takes it upon herself to find the cause of this trouble before it tears their Encanto apart. And tears their family apart. Ooh, did I just give away the metaphor? I have heard stories like this before where you have one regular person surrounded by other people with superhuman or magical abilities. Hell, I can think of two shows that aired on Toonami recently with a similar premise. That said, I do like what Encanto did with this premise. It's a really good story about the importance of taking care of your family, but also remaining true to yourself, which may not always be what your family expects you to be. I really like the Mirabelle character. She is very empathetic and devoted to her family, and also delightfully weird. And while this movie is primarily Mirabelle's story, there are several other people in this magical Colombian X-Men family, and the movie does a pretty good job of balancing them all out. They all have their own unique powers and all get their moment in the spotlight, and that includes Casita. I did like John Leguizamo in this movie. He did a really good job as the voice of Bruno, but we don't talk about Bruno. Bruno has the ability to predict the future, and his predictions were not always pleasant and had a habit of coming true. And he was ostracized for this because apparently the Madrigals do not understand the concept of not shooting the messenger. He had a joke in this movie that I thought was a little weird at first where he says something about telenovelas and it appears this movie takes place in a time before TV exists. But then I remembered, oh yeah, he can see the future, so he might know telenovelas exist. The youngest member of the family is Antonio, who has the ability to talk to animals. He is adorable, I would die for him, and I don't trust anyone who won't. I did find some of the magical gifts a little odd, considering the point of the gifts seems to be to help the people of the village, and indeed some of them are helpful. Luisa has super strength, which sadly seems to be primarily used for hurting donkeys, but still, practical use. Camilo is a shapeshifter, Julieta can make food that acts as a cure-all, but then you have someone like Peppa, whose mood affects the weather. Not sure if that's particularly useful. That seems like more of a burden than a gift. I mean, I suppose you could read her a sad story when there's a drought or something, but otherwise not very helpful. The movie has some very funny moments and some very touching moments as well. The animation is gorgeous, as you would expect from Disney, and I do appreciate that Mirabelle does not seem to suffer from the same face syndrome that a lot of Disney princesses have. I don't know if Mirabelle technically qualifies as a princess per se, but you know what I mean. The music in this movie was written by Lin-Manuel Miranda and scored by Germaine Franco, and the musical numbers are outstanding. Most of this cast are not just great voice actors, but great singers as well. Definitely a few earworms in here. The Family Madrigal is a very fun opening number, does a great job of setting the stage. I still have We Don't Talk About Bruno stuck in my head, which is a song where, ironically, everyone talks about Bruno. Perhaps a better title would be We Don't Talk About Bruno... But pretty much every member of the family gets a verse in, and then at the end of the song, they all mash together, and they fit perfectly. Just really good writing there. And I would not at all be surprised if Dos Oruguitas ended up with an Oscar nomination. Overall, it's a very good movie. It's fun, it's charming, has some outstanding music, and I think a lot of people will get a kick out of it. And it's on Disney+, Plus, so you don't even have to leave the house to see it. And that's all I have to say about Encanto. Till next time, take care.